In this tutorial, we will be looking at where to find the remote start, also known as auto start, connections on the Deep C4520 control panel. The first thing you need to know is that the two wires on the back of the control panel labeled wire 24 and wire 5 are always the two remote start connection wires. Next, you will need to refer to your genset's included wiring schematic and locate where it says Remote Start or Auto Start in order to find the relevant connections for wires 24 and 5. From here, we can trace where wires 24 and 5 plug into the genset's terminal block. Please note that although the two Remote Start connection wires will always be 24 and 5, the terminal block connections will vary based on your specific genset, so it is necessary that you use your wiring schematic for this step. As we can see from this example, in order to make the remote start connection, wire 5 must plug into terminal 3, which is linked with terminal 4. Additionally, we can also see that wire 24 must plug into terminal 5. Once these connections are made, all you need to do is ensure that your control panel is set to auto and you are good to go.